I accidentally exposed my sister's cheating to her fiancé, which led to her attempting self-delete. My mom is blaming me for her attempt, and they are now trying to frame her cheating as SA. For some background, my 17F sister, 22F, cheated on her fiancé, 25M, of three years while on a cruise. My parents took us on a cruise to celebrate our graduations, since I graduated high school and she graduated with her bachelor's degree. While on the cruise, I caught her cheating and she begged me to stay quiet about it. I eventually told two of my friends because I couldn't hold it in any longer. Long story short, her fiancé ended up finding out because of me. We had a family dinner with my parents, my sister, and her fiancé. The restaurant is kind of small, so there is a waiting area where you wait for the host to seat you. And right near the waiting area there is a hallway that leads to the men and women's bathroom, if that makes sense. While waiting for our food, I went to use the restroom and I ran into one of my friends in the bathroom. We talked for a while, and coming out of the bathroom, she asked me if it was awkward between my sister and I. We exited the bathroom into the small hallway. I said, yes, I feel like I have to be loyal to her because she's my sister, but I also feel like a terrible person for not telling him that she cheated. Turns out, my sister's fiancé overheard our conversation. When I came out of the hallway, I saw him talking on phone in the waiting area, but thought nothing of it at the time. Long story short, he broke up with my sister that same day. He accused her of cheating on him and mentioned what he overheard me say. In a desperate attempt to salvage their relationship, my mom drove my sister and I to his apartment. At his place, my mom explained to him that I lied for attention and she asked me to apologize. I did apologize, but then he asked me if I lied about the cheating. I wanted to say yes to save my sister's relationship, but he honestly looked so hurt already. I just couldn't bring myself to lie to him. I stayed silent and shocked my head a little. There was a huge argument and he called the cops on us. Up until this morning, my sister and my mom refused to even look at me. They had not spoken to me since the whole incident. My dad was the only one who didn't blame me for everything. I know that I should have kept quiet about it and I feel guilty for ruining their relationship. I feel really bad because he actually made my sister happy. This morning around 1 a.m., my dad woke me up and he was crying. All I remember hearing was my mom sobbing from across the hallway. Everything from that point was just traumatic. When I entered my sister's old bedroom, she was just lying on the floor. My mom was crying while on the phone with 911 and she was yelling incoherent sentences. My sister attempted to commit self-delete. I don't want to describe the scene, but I can't get it out of my head. All I feel is guilt. To make matters worse, while we were at the hospital, I accidentally pissed my mom off. I told my dad that I was thirsty and he was going to help me find some water. But my mom got really mad. She exploded on both of us, but mainly me. She basically blamed me for everything. She said if my sister doesn't make it then her blood is on my hands. And she also said that she wished it was me instead of my sister. My dad cut her off and yelled at her for saying those things, but she just argued back defending herself. I honestly just feel like a piece of shit. My parents and my sister wouldn't have to deal with this mess if I just kept quiet and lied. My grandma came to the hospital and picked me up. I insisted on staying, but my dad refused. Update. This is an update for my last post. First, I want to thank everyone for all the kind messages, advice and concerns. It honestly means a lot that so many people took the time out of their days to help me. Thank you. A lot has happened in the past few days, but I obviously can't mention everything. I'm not really sure where to start, but I'll begin with my sister. My sister has woken up and she's stable. She was discharged from the hospital yesterday, but she is still dealing with self-inflicted wounds that are still healing. My relationship with my mom and sister has deteriorated a lot. It honestly hurts that we aren't on speaking terms, but our relationships have never been great to begin with. At the moment, my sister is refusing to speak to me. I went to visit her at the hospital last week and it was a couple hours after she woke up. But when I got there she refused to even look at me. I knew that she was hurting, so I gave her space. My sister's ex-fiancé came to my grandma's house the day after my sister attempted. My dad, him, and I had a long conversation about everything. I was able to directly tell him what I caught her doing, how she reacted afterwards and how she begged me to stay silent about it. After I was done explaining what I saw, he showed us a bunch of messages that my sister sent him shortly before she attempted to take her life. She basically wrote long messages claiming she was held down and assaulted, and said that she begged me not to say anything to him because she was afraid and embarrassed about what happened to her. She then told him that he should not believe me because I'm just a kid who was confused about what I saw. Her ex-fiancé kept asking me if I was sure of what I saw, and I am. My dad didn't say much at this point, but it was obvious how disappointed he was to see the messages. To be clear, I always believe in supporting assault victims and being there for them, but I think it's disgusting what she was doing. I know exactly what I saw and I wish I had proof, but when I walked into our room she was enjoying what was going on. Without being too specific, my sister was not held down. 
She was on top of him when I walked in and was basically riding his face. Not only did she quickly get off him when she realized I walked in, but she tried to explain herself. Later that night, she begged me to not say anything about what I saw because she was drunk and made a dumb mistake. Her ex was obviously devastated and my dad kept apologizing to him. My dad ended up confirming that I was telling the truth. Because shortly after her ex-fiancé broke up with her, she eventually confessed to my parents that she willingly cheated. And so the story about her being assaulted was just fabricated. Yesterday shortly after being discharged, my sister started posting on social media about how SA victims aren't taken seriously. She's receiving a lot of concerned and kind feedback from her friends and our extended family. And to make matters worse, my mom went on a huge rant on Facebook bashing my sister's ex for breaking up with her after she was assaulted. My grandma ended up dropping me off at home yesterday because she needed to run some errands and didn't feel comfortable leaving me alone at her home due to my current mental state. I felt better knowing that my dad was home. I just planned on locking myself into my room until my grandma came back. Well, my dad was very upset when he found out about the social media post and confronted my mom. They got into a big argument. My dad told her that he was tired of her defending and lying to save my sister. He kept talking about how she's preventing her from being an adult and facing the natural consequences of her actions, but my mom wasn't having it. A lot of bad things were said, but at the end my dad told her that he was tired of her, which made her snap. She started ranting about how he was heartless and was incapable of forgiveness. My dad responded asking her what she called him swallowing his self-worth and pride when he forgave her for cheating. My mom started yelling that he was bringing up old stuff that happened more than 20 years ago. He started crying saying he sacrificed a lot for this family but she continues to be ungrateful and stab him in the back. My mom lost it and started blaming him. She said he is always away, he's a pilot, and she was lonely. They continued going back and forth, but then she just yelled that she should have left him when she had the chance. To cut this post short, my mom started taunting my dad with the fact that she continued to cheat on him after he originally found out. My dad told her to pack her things and leave the house. My mom didn't really care at that point and she made sure to tell him that she's filing for divorce as soon as she gets the chance. And she also told him that she will most likely be awarded full custody of my younger brother, 15M, because my dad is always gone, and she will take him to Europe so they can live with her family. For context, my mom is from a Slavic country. They got into another argument about my brother and his custody. I didn't mention my brother in my other post because he wasn't at the cruise and won't be home until the beginning of July. He's been away on a mission service trip in Latin America. He left for this trip shortly after we got out of school. I ended up leaving the house and driving back to my grandma's house. I waited in my car until she got back home. I just couldn't stay with my family any longer. I should also mention that my mom and my sister are aware of my last post. Apparently, my post has been featured on several viral videos. And some family friends who know the situation have sent the videos and posts to my mom. My mom is extremely mad at me. Over the weekend, she kept demanding me to take my post down. But I told her I wouldn't take it down until she read the comments. And when she did, she told me that my sister was being unfairly judged by strangers and said the comments were being dramatic. As of today, my sister is home with my dad. My mom left the house and she's staying at her friend's house. And I'm staying with my grandma. Relevant comment. Your mom is defending your sister because she herself has cheated. That's some twisted dynamics. Your poor dad. Try to be there for each other. Try to be there for your brother too. If you're able, get a therapist. If your parents divorce, you and your brother are old enough for most judges to give you a say on who you want to live with. Don't worry about that. Tell your dad to get a lawyer ASAP. If your mom continues to coddle and enable your sister's behavior without letting her facing the consequences of her actions, she will continue to do her a disservice and they will likely team up and enable each other. Stay away. You don't need that in your life. OP, thank you so much. I'm really afraid for my brother. He is aware of everything that is going on, but doesn't know the full extent yet. My dad doesn't want to ruin his missions trip with this mess but I think it's better that we tell him now or else my mom might manipulate him when he gets back. My mom kept telling my dad that no judge would give him full custody with his work schedule. And she said the second she gets an opportunity to leave with my brother, she'll go to Europe with him. I'm just really scared for him. My dad does travel a lot for work obviously, but I'm sure my brother can just stay with our grandma until my dad is back. I don't know if that would hold up in court, but I'm terrified that my mom will take him away. She was being very serious when she said she would. My brother already isn't the most masculine guy and my mom constantly makes aggressive comments about it. She constantly questions his sexuality because he isn't into manly activities. But her native country is extremely homophobic and they expect men to be very masculine. Although my brother is not gay, I'm afraid for his safety. I don't want him flown out to another country. And I definitely don't want him away from my grandma, my dad and I.